Hi there, welcome to this Google Data Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn everything we need to understand to automate our reports and tell stories with our data. And the first thing we'll do is understanding why Data Studio matters. What are the use cases, how other companies are using Data Studio to create reports, to automate their data tasks, and also to present their data to convince an audience. Once we understand this, we'll go to 10 steps to create reports. The first step is, okay, if I want to talk about data visualization, I need to bring the data somewhere, from somewhere, so I connect the data. Once we understand how we bring data, how we import data to Google Data Studio, the next step is understanding how we ask questions to our data so we can create charts, so we can create reports. And once we understand how we ask questions to Data Studio or to any business intelligence tool, the next step is creating our first charts. We'll understand how to create heat maps, time series, pie charts, anything, because on Data Studio, all they work pretty much the same. Once we create our first visualizations, it is time to make our dashboards interactive by adding buttons, controls, dropdowns, or any elements that lets users play with the data so they can have more context and clean their data. We will make our dashboards interactive. Once we make our dashboards interactive, the next step is creating formulas. So you can think about calculating averages, any mathematical formula, just like you do with Google Sheet, that you use many formulas, we can do it on Data Studio, and it is quite simple and automatic. The next step seems like complex. When I think of case statements or regular expressions, people get scared, but it is quite simple and yet quite powerful. You will understand how to create queries, how to visualize your data that is not numeric, but it is represented with strings. I'll explain it later. It seems complex, but once you understand it, you will be one step ahead of any professional, especially in data analysis. Once we have our data prepared, it is time to understand the possibilities of business intelligence. A great feature with Data Studio and other business intelligence tools is blending data. I can combine like, for instance, my Facebook ads and my Google ads data so I can know automatically or my total return on ad spent. Finally, once we have reports, once we have data, once we have this amount of formulas, the next step is making our reports look good for our audience so people want to visualize these charts. That's why this is important. We want to present this to an audience and we want to tell a story. That's why Data Studio offers a range of features that make our data look great and also quite fast. Once we have our data, our dashboards, our data blended, our formulas, the last step is understanding how I can share my reports with an audience with my customers or stakeholders. It is time to get started with Data Studio and we will do it by showing you use cases. I will show you how our companies use Google Data Studio to automate the reports and to find answers. And the first example is this SEO report. Most of people talk about SEO, but measuring it, it is sometimes hard and especially for customers. If you want to present a report to your customer, most people take screenshots and people don't understand SEO. With this kind of dashboards, you can present a data that a customer can understand. And for instance, know, okay, I am growing my visibility or I am getting more traffic from search engines. Another use case, as I said before, we can combine automatically our ad spend from Facebook and Google Ads so I can know how much in total I am spending on advertising or in total, how many conversions I am getting from both channels. This is another quite interesting use case. I can visualize my funnel from my CRM data and you may be wondering, how do I visualize or how do I bring my CRM data to Data Studio? We will answer that, but just to give you a quick answer, this is with Google Sheets. If you have data on Google Sheet, you can visualize any data if, if you have it on Google Sheet. Another example is a funnel. Everyone in marketing talks about building funnels or being a funnel hacker and these kind of things, but no one visualizes them. We will learn how you can visualize your marketing funnels on Data Studio. Another great example is e-commerce. If you want to know your best performing products, your best performing audiences, if you want to know how much you are selling, you can know it right away and also people who don't know Google Analytics. I can get this data from Google Analytics, but most people who are not technical don't even understand how to get it. We can create a dashboard that anyone in my company 
can understand. Another great use case is YouTube. If I have a YouTube channel, I can know, okay, how many people are watching my videos? How much time they are spending on my videos? If they like it, if they comment it, I can know it in a glance in the same view. If I want to report my Instagram data, most people report on Instagram with the native application, but there is a problem. You can visualize your reports because you have the Instagram account, but if you want to share it with someone else, you can't. That's why bringing your Instagram data from Data Studio, it is such a good deal. Another example is tracking my Facebook ads, most important KPIs. So for instance, in this chart, I am noticing, okay, my CTR looks quite well. It is above my target, but my cost per click is quite high. I understand why my ads are not performing very well, and I can do it with a simple visualization. Another great example that I have seen with banks and large companies is that they compare their current performance against a target so they can know, okay, this month we are below our target. We have sometimes some additional days to get ahead. And finally, if you want to make some dashboards that make people uh, spend some time, like this dynamic pie chart, when we visualize over time what our best performing products are, this is the kind of data we can visualize on Data Studio. Now, it is time to understand how to connect our data on Data Studio, and let's get started. So the question here is, how do I import or bring data from somewhere, uh, my application, my CRM, my cell software, my whatever, how I do bring that data to Data Studio? And the answer is connectors. A connector is what lets me bring data from somewhere, my cell software, my CRM, Facebook, wherever, to Data Studio automatically. Now, you may be wondering where I can get data from. A good example is Google Data Studio is a Google product and it is free. Also, there are connectors. If I connect Google Analytics, I can do it for free. If I connect Google Ads, my ad spend and all my advertising data, I can do it for free. If I want to track my SEO efforts, I can do it with Google Search Console. Those are free connectors that Google offers, just like YouTube. You can track your YouTube channel for free because Google lets you do so. But what about third parties? What about Facebook? What about MailChimp, LinkedIn, my CRM, and an entire plethora of applications that I would like to visualize their data? That's why partner connectors like Porter bring their data and build these connections. But if you can say a possible scenario is that partner connectors don't offer a connection for your software, for your cell software, because your team built that software. There is no connection available. How can you bring that data? Data Studio lets you connect your data from your databases like BigQuery, like MySQL, like Postgres, or like a simple Google Sheet. If you have your data in tables, you can visualize it on Google Data Studio. And with this, we can say that on Data Studio, you can visualize any data as soon as it is structured in rows and tables. Now it is time. It is time to create our Google Data Studio account and to create our first dashboards. Once we understand that we can bring data from anywhere, it is time to understand how I ask questions to my data. How can I structure queries or charts? And the way we think of this on Data Studio or on any business intelligence tool is by thinking of dimensions and metrics, and you will understand why. A metric is any numerical value. It's anything that I can quantify. 80 visitors, 20 users, 80% bounce rate, two minutes average time on, on a page. Metrics are numbers that I can operate mathematically. On the other hand, dimensions is what let me break down those metrics so I can have context, so I can visualize my traffic users by device, or I want to visualize them by country, or by user type, or by product. So once we understand dimensions as the breakdowns of my metrics, I can start asking questions. What about, what are my best performing products? That's my question. How do I answer it? Okay, my best performing product, product is the dimension, is the way I want to break down my data. And how I define performance, I can do it by sales volume or tickets or average ticket or profit. Those are four kinds of metrics I can track. So I can visualize profit by product and I can have a list where I sort 
my best performing products. That's the way I answer a question with data through dimensional metrics. But let's see a different example. If I show you this table, I want to ask what is my traffic and it is break down by device so I can know in total I have 720 visitors but most of them are on mobile so I have context because the dimension which is devices lets me visualize so if I show you this chart this time series what is the metric and the dimension in this case the metric is users I am visualizing users over time so the dimension is date I am breaking down my traffic by date another example is this map I am visualizing sessions my website traffic and I am breaking it down by geography by country let's see this example and this is how you see it okay for this map I need a dimension a metric I have sessions I have countries if I show you this pie chart why do you think we have a metric or a dimension where it is okay I am breaking down my data by medium by traffic medium so I know that most of my traffic is coming from organic from SEO and in this case I am not displaying the metric but I know that this percentage represents what is the most important acquisition channel for my website that's the question and the answer is with metrics and dimensions with sessions and with medium once you understand how to ask questions to your data, once you understand metrics, dimensions, data types, and all these things, it is time to create our Google Data Studio account, and it is time to create our first reports. So, I will see you on Google Data Studio. Mm -hmm.